There's a million ways to make pipes, but I'm going to show you how I make them. I like to start with the fittings. The type of fitting you make depends on the type of pipes you're making. I'm going for a typical metal pipe style. So first, model your fittings. The most common and versatile fitting is the 90. It allows you to make 90 degree turns. Start with a plane and just delete one of the vertices. Now select the remaining three and hit Control B. But wait, nothing's happening. Go down to the bottom left corner where it says bevel and select vertices. Now adjust the width. Leave a little space between the last vertices on both ends. Now adjust the number of segments until you get a smooth bend. Now in object mode, convert it to a curve. In the object data properties, set the depth to something that looks like this. We want it fat. As for the resolution, I typically max that out at 32. Now convert the object back to a mesh and set the shading to smooth. In edit mode, select both ends and extrude the faces along the normals. But now it looks ridiculous because the edges are smooth. To fix this, just add an edge loop and drag it all the way to each edge you want to be sharp. This inside edge can look a little better if you bevel it a bit. Now we need to add a texture. Typically, metal pipes are made from steel, but the fittings are made of cast iron. You can buy a cast iron material, or you can just scan the bottom of a cast iron pan. Crop it, make it seamless, and there you go, it's ready to apply. In edit mode, alt select the inside edge, hit U, mark seam. Next, select all the faces and hit U, unwrap. Add an image texture and adjust the size of your UV. Throw in a bump map, turn down the strength, and adjust the settings of the principal BSDF. The 90 degree fitting is done. Another great fitting is the T. It's the same procedure as the 90, only you're going to want to use two separate objects. Adjust the bevel depth on each, extrude the ends, and then unwrap. Now you can join the two into one object. You can also duplicate the one with two ends and use that as a third fitting to join pipes together in a straight line. Okay, now for the pipes. Select the inside edge loop of the fitting and extrude it out. Now select all the faces of the part you extruded and hit P, separate by selection. In edit mode, add some loop cuts to both ends and select every other one and scale them in. This will give the illusion of threads. Now mark one edge and unwrap. For the texture, I just took a picture of this pipe and made it seamless. You can shorten or lengthen these pipes a little bit, but if you want to make drastic changes, you will need to go through the unwrapping process again. So I like to make a short, medium, and long pipe. So now we have all these parts and we can start assembling them. Just line them up and go crazy. Duplicate as many as you want. Rotate some of them so they don't all look the same. You might want to move the UV around some too. Throw in some moody lights, and now you have an awesome looking pipe system.